Good morning. It is a little after 7 o'clock and it is a gorgeous day here in Wisconsin. It's supposed to get up to almost 80 degrees. So I'm going to head to the yard, meet up with Eric, and we're going to do all the last minute stuff, including hopefully going to pick up the Mack dump truck. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to do today. Um, but we are right there a couple more days and we are working we're starting off on monday today is a thursday by the way we're starting off on monday with a big driveway so we're gonna hit the ground running one thing that concerns me right now is i cannot get a hold of tino so i really need him uh, because right now francisco is injured as well so i'm gonna try to call him today hopefully he calls me back we'll see what happens all right i'm gonna take this trash out i'll see you guys at the coffee shop how much garbage do we make? I guess when she's done with work, she's done with work. Good work. Try to call Tino again here. Please leave your message for... Hmm. If I can't find Tino, it's just going to be me, Eric, and Bugs, and the new guy that doesn't know anything about concrete. That's not going to be great. Morning, Lisa. Doing fine. How are you? No, nope. guys are so busy this morning. I know. I think it's because of the nice weather. Yeah, it is. A lot of mo a lot more landscape companies are starting up. Just pulling into the yard. 7:48. Eric will be here at 8 o'clock. I'm gonna call up the repair place and see if my Mac is done. I'd like to go pick that up first thing. If it's not done, hopefully we can go get it later. Uh-oh, the mechanic's yelling at me. Uh-oh. Hey, you got a flat tire on this truck, too. New brakes? Flat tire on this side right here. I got it fixed for you. Thank you. you. Right there it is. All now, right. this one here, the shoes are like this. And that's not good? Not for DOT, no. Okay. So I, I did that. I just got to put the wheels on. I got it serviced. I fixed some lights. I pressure washed your engine underneath on the side. I haven't run it yet to check the oil leak. Yeah, the oil leak was pretty bad again. Well, it's not, it's not the side. No. No. I don't know where it's coming from. I just noticed there's a lot of oil coming out from under there. And this here air dry when it pushes, when it exhausts, it's got a bunch of water in it. So I was going to put a new kit in there. Okay. Um, so, like I say, I got it all washed up here and cleaned up. So, if I can't find something here but just run it here and you guys start working it, yeah, we'll check that front crankshaft seal. The front crankshaft seal is right there. All right. And see if we can pinpoint it. You may have to work it. Yeah. By just idly, maybe not. All right. So that's where it's at. That's where it's at? Yeah. Okay. Finish it up. I, uh, whoever put the bulb in here, put it in backwards. How do you put a bulb in backwards? I know, exactly. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Eric's here. All right, so that's, that's why I want to let you know about the brakes. All right. And, uh, and you're doing the DLT, right? Yeah, and the flat tire. Okay. Morning, Eric. How are you doing? What you been up to? Nothing. Nothing. Just waiting. Waiting to start? <laughs> you didn't get a haircut yet, hey? Yeah, well, just a side of mine. I cut nothing for the top of For a long time? Yeah, I'm gonna let it long. Like, really long? Like, really long. Oh. Like, I right hear this. Really? Yeah. Oh. Do you know how mad I am right now, Eric? That's all I eat for breakfast. 
Man, I'm, I'm uh. You're just gonna go get another I have to. I have to get eggs. That's all I eat for breakfast until lunch. I don't eat anything in between either. That's it. I can't even get a. I can't even get a whole Latino. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So it might just be me, you, and Bugs. Wow. <laughs> Die, or you got the big Yo, we're gonna die for oh, sure. Big, big driveway, like first like, thing. Um, right around the soccer field yesterday, I was dying, dude. Yeah? Yes, like dying. A uh, few. Text him too, and he didn't text me back. No, nope, I don't know where he is. Maybe he'll call today. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, thank you. Yep. All right, bye. Bye. So the dump truck is done, but they're not done with the invoice. So we're gonna push that off till a little later today. So we're gonna run to the winter shop and we'll pick up the form truck. We're gonna run to the winter shop and pick up the form truck. Oh yeah. And bring that back here. Cause that's a hundred percent now. The lights are all good. and Stickers in. The stickers? Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Put the stickers on the side and then bring it back here. And I need to go get eggs like ASAP. Because my stomach is like... Rrr. That's, pretty, that's pretty sad that that happened. I know. Are you eating sandwiches and drinking Coke already? Yes, sir. Wow. You just told me you were trying to like work out. And yeah, but it's hard. You changed your mind already? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta eat something. Come on, Tino. I hope he's not like... Say it. Buffalo, Broom, and Saka, everything if it's just us three. Tino just texted me. It's him. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I'm working. I can't talk. I, I call. I call you as soon as I can. Well, that's good. Man, he's making me nervous. All day yesterday, nothing. No response. Wow. Me puddling everything and you guys striking off. Oh, we're gonna be done. Dude. And then me having the bull flow and then you guys have to puddle and strike off. Oh. <laughs> I used to work like that all the time, Eric. Now we're just spoiled. We are spoiled though. Yeah, we are. Quick trip again. I know. I stood in line. It was like halfway to the back of the store. <laughs> I'll wait for you here. Yeah, I'll be right out. Okay. Easy money. Very, very easy. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Watch your stuff all the time. Morning, morning, Mizzy. Good morning, how are you? Fine. This is all today? I was here like 15, 20 minutes ago. I bought all my stuff. I went to my yard. I opened up the eggs and they both fell onto the gravel parking lot. No. And I was so mad. Oh no. I know. Well, I'm glad I got to see you because I didn't see you 15 uh, minutes ago. I know. 219. That's please. the real reason I came back, but you know, oh. I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> what are you eating now, Eric? Cheeto puffs. Cheeto puffs? <laughs> Look at your finger. Oh. <laughs> Oh, orange. Oh, that <laughs> That's why I don't go to the gym, right? Because I just eat, man. I just love food. You don't go to the gym because you're too busy eating. Mm -hmm. I can't really make fun of you, man, because I was doing the same thing. Although I never ate like that in the morning. I always just had my yogurt. I'm not that hungry in the morning. No. No. Lunchtime, I get hungry. But at nighttime, I get really hungry. And then, you know, you eat dinner maybe like 6 or 6.30 or whatever. And then you get hungry again, like 9 o'clock. Yeah. I get really hungry again. And then that's when I have a problem is at night. Yeah, then when I'll eat like an entire dinner worth of food again yeah. at 9 o'clock. That's what makes you get big. Too. Yeah, I know. And then you go to bed and then yeah. all that fat just starts building up. <laughs> just go sideways. <laughs> It was really funny when you climbed the wall at um, Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. I seen the video <laughs> yesterday. That was really hilarious. It was. You were like... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said you were like Spider-Man. Yeah, the fat version. Imagine being with a suit like, like a tight. 
<laughs> Look at his chubby Spider-Man. Yeah, right. Play the music and then there there you are rolling yeah. rolling up the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little three foot wall, you barely. <laughs> I barely even roll up and it was really hard for me. People seem like, oh he made his move, but it was terrifying. MacGyver's been working. He showed us his wood slitter. He was he was running it the other day. Mm -hmm. It works good. Really all we gotta do is throw the tape on the side of the form truck and then bring it. Yep. That's it. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh no, we didn't really do a whole lot in here. I was working the other day on a special <laughs> project. This project right here. Let's just throw that on there. You gotta put your You're bags right? back away. Shouldn't have to wipe it, it's freshly painted, so. The DOT tape. You see? Huh? Hey. Huh? See? Oh. Well, hopefully they can do something. All right, other side. I need I need bigger shirts, man, because I'm a little like a sausage. <laughs> I swear, dude. I, I I put the ones that I use. I'm so fat, dude. I'm like. What size? A large. You need what now? Extra large? Just a large. I, you got me M's. So oh. I was an M. So you went up a whole size. Yeah. Yikes. And that's that. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna move some of this stuff, put it away. Oh yeah. And then uh, we'll back it out. Fire it up, Eric. Yeah, but I won't be back to the office. So, I mean, I'll just be, I'll be personally coming up there, so. I'll be personally coming there, but I'll give you my email when I when I get there. The place just called, the Mac is ready. Oh, they called it? Yeah, so we'll take drop this back, back drop it, and then go pick that up. Ready? We need to fix this thing. So the strap in the back broke that held it over the top. So then the whole top came loose and well, a little bit loose. Pulled the front off now too. So I have to get a lift and fix that at some point, but not today. Yeah, we'll pull everything out and start arranging stuff the way it's going to be you guys are going to have to park on the street this summer there's no room in here anymore okay. all the years in the past everybody parked on the street and then they just walked around it wasn't until recently that people start pulling in here and parking in here there's just no room for the cars Size load is going like 15 miles an hour and we got four miles of this <laughs> oh no way look at this service van is impatient he's gonna just skip them I'm not sure what that is but this is taking a long time now he's got to go through the roundabout Oh, he thinks he's going to go fast and look. Not today. <laughs> Sorry, Cobra. He ain't going anywhere. destination is on your right. going to be a big bill i mean i knew what the box was going to cost but they did a lot of different repairs the dot tires there was a lot of stuff they fixed on this truck they went through the whole thing so this is going to cost me a lot of money but i am glad it's all done 
Look at the box, Eric. Oh my. And the frame, too. That looks good. Ooh, they did your frame? Yep. They did the frame, too. I am so jelly. <laughs> look at that. Cause look at that. Dude, look at that. All right, you should calm down here. <laughs> it's just paint, Eric. It's yeah. just paint. Really nice paint? It is really nice paint. Like, my thing's not gonna look like this when I paint it. <laughs> oh, they painted the back too. That's good. Oh! Oh, and they put all new lights in there. Look oh, at look all at the that. new LEDs and the backup light, marker lights. Oh, Ryan, that's so nice, dude. I hope he did. The old sticker's still on here. Oh, no, he did. It's right here. Okay. It's right on the floor. I just gotta put it on. Oh, yep, so the DLT's good. Everything's good, Eric. It's ready to go. Oh, this is a DLT? Yeah, that's the new sticker, and then this is the inspection report. Yeah. I'm gonna take mine. And I got the new registration in my truck. I'm just gonna put the sticker on the license plate, and this truck is 100%. Yeah, he ordered a new bumper, but he, yeah, he said it didn't come in in time. This is new? That's the hydraulic tank. What? So they switched it? Yeah, they switched it all. They put a brand new PTO in, new pump, new tank, everything. Yeah, they put a bunch of new tires on. Oh yeah, I could. I should have somebody polish all the aluminum rims, and then uh, and then put the new bumper on. Yes, sir. Yes, what you gotta do. They put a nice ladder on here. Look at this ladder. Really nice ladder. Okay. This is all hardened steel too. This is all AR. The whole Heavy. box. Heavy. Yeah. A lot of work, huh? Yeah. You know, pretty good. I just gotta be a solid truck for for quite some time. So. Yeah. You wanna wipe that off and put this new sticker on? Just okay. put it right over the old sticker. Just wipe it with your sleeve or something. The good thing is that all the big expensive stuff is done. The only other big check I have to write is for my taxes in the next day or two. And I'm not even sure what that's gonna be yet. But once that's paid for, then we're gonna start making money again. Okay, it's paid for. So, I'll tell you the total. I know guys don't like to talk about this stuff publicly, but I'm going to tell you what this cost. <laughs> yeah. How much do you think all that cost, Eric? Uh, about forty. Forty-six thousand dollars. Oh, I kind of nailed it. <laughs> Not quite nailed it, Eric. Oh, well, six thousand dollars. Forty-six thousand dollars. Yeah, that hurts, man. Forty-six thousand dollars. Make that in one too. But you know what? This truck will go another five years easy. Easy. I mean, it's totally paid for. It runs good. Everything's fixed on it. I know some people say, you just bought another truck. Well, if you buy another truck for 50, it's going to have problems. It's going to be over here. You're going to spend another 30 on it right away. You know, big trucks are just big money, man. That's just the bottom line. Whether it's a dump truck or a semi tractor, whatever it is, if you get big toys, you better have a big budget. You want to sit down for <laughs> yes, I do. I'm gonna sit in there and drive it back.
check out these switches. Switches look like you're gonna launch a rocket. I feel like I'm in F-16. Here, I'm gonna lift up the box. Oh, they did the whole frame, they did everything. I only thought they were gonna do the outside of the rails. vibrator this whole frame right here is brand new it's a lot of work they did a lot of work man hey I'm all excited to do the tailgate on the dump truck how stupid is that Eric uh, no, it's no, kind of no. dumb right no. park this thing um line me up to the trailer i gotta check all the lights eric go behind the trailer the right blinker should be on right now yeah no you can check them. well that's because the lights are on they should be on right now but there's no blinker. Nothing? <sighs> well, I'm gonna check the truck side because I have a tester right now. Hopefully that's all wired correctly, which I'm sure it probably is. Okay, so I got a test plug. It's got uh, LED indicators and they're marked make sure that everything's working on the truck end then I know if everything's good on the truck end then I only have to concentrate on this stuff I'm just gonna take a look at the wiring in the back of the trailer because I know last year we ripped them one time we ripped the wires and then Daryl fixed them and it was on this side so I'm gonna take a look again Looks like everything is still together. This all looks good. I'm gonna grab some tools and I'm gonna open up that plug, see what it looks like. Maybe it's just the plug, hopefully. So I don't really see anything else. I'm gonna pull this thing apart. Oh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's bad. <sighs> yep, yeah, that is. That's gonna be the issue right there. So I have a new one here. Not that one, this one. So I will take that one off, pop this one on, and then hopefully everything goes good. I really don't like trailer lighting at all. There was one time I was working on a boat trailer and if you've worked on trailers a lot, trailer lighting, you already know sometimes it can be really, really frustrating. It seems like you know what's wrong with it, you go to fix it, you know, something's still wrong, you think it's just the ground, it's not a ground. Well, I was going back and forth on this boat trailer and it was hot out. I was out in my driveway, this was a long time ago, and I got frustrated and I just started grabbing all the wires. I ripped all the wires out of the boat trailer and I put all brand new wiring in. <laughs> it 
all brand new wiring and you know then obviously it worked perfect i never did find out what the trouble was but i had just had it so i was done oh my good friend just texted me he's at b52s <laughs> we're coming up there in like 15 minutes but we just ordered we'll see ya all right we'll stay there yeah, i want to we'll say i want to say hi yeah right on okay we'll okay see ya right, bye, bye. Yeah, this guy here, he's a great guy. He's a pastor in western Wisconsin, and he's a good friend of mine. Hey, we got to go real quick. Okay. My friend's in town from western Wisconsin. He's at 52s right now. He sent me a picture. Right. This wire was completely loose. Oh, look at that wire. And it was going across two of them like this. Oh, it was making back. Yeah, back it's back. all rotted out in here. It's all rusted out. Yeah, time to replace. So, I got a new one right here. I just got to put it on. I was gonna have Nathan do this the other day. He just didn't have time, and I'll just fix it real quick. It's not a big deal. Hi, George. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Careful, man. You've been working out. Oh yeah. It hurt my hand. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Ryan. I just met your friend Matthew. Yeah, he's right here. Yes, I did. Yes. Did he know your name? He asked me my name and he said, hello, young lady. I said, thank you for calling me young. <laughs> How's it going, man? I said I recognized her probably because i seen her on your videos. Yeah, more. <laughs> See, you and that camera, you're kind of going the best. Look, you got the camera. No, it's not on. Is the red light flashing? Oh, yeah, it is. There, okay, that means it's off. <laughs> Don't waste that on me. You can't get away from it. <laughs> no, no. Guys hi eat. guys in. no we came to eat oh, cool. yeah hi you like the food hey, good to meet you nice to meet you I know yeah this is pastor you. weber <laughs> that's great yeah isn't that kind of weird though it is so weird honestly to, to see you guys yeah we're used to watching you guys. yeah yeah we're, we're about to start working on monday so it's time for concrete again i want to hear about the land yeah i want to hear more about it yeah we can talk let's, let's grab some food right, and then we'll talk we'll yeah I'm going to have my three chicken breasts with hot sauce, but I'm gonna have that broccoli again. Okay. Because that broccoli is really good. Right. Yeah. He's only been here for five oh, days. Oh, no, you gotta slow down, brother. What country? I, I was living in France, but I am originally from Tunisia. Tunisia, yeah, because your cousins. She is Tunisian, but I yeah. used to live in France before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Five years. Paris. So I'll be. So you know, you know, you know French fluent then. Eh? I speak it better than English. Man. Really? Yeah. So, I got you. so you're three language? Three language, Arabic, French, and uh, English. Nice. Fluent I can't even language. speak English yet, and I'm 46 yeah. years old. Right, Gene? I mean, we don't speak proper English. No, we don't. No, not even close. And for you, <laughs> I sound like an idiot. Yeah, that's me. In the video. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you know what? But we went to public high school yeah. in Milwaukee. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. yes. And that'll do it every time. Yeah, for real. All right, see you later. Yeah, keep us updated what's going on and everything, yeah. I gotta figure out how to do that, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, well you can always call me or text me. All right, see ya. Bye, ladies. Have a good day. We are back at the yard i'm going to continue working on that trailer plug i'm going to grab a wire strippers in here it was nice seeing my friend pastor weber so i'm going to cut all these flush start over now each one of these before i tighten it down i'm going to give it a little dielectric grease underneath the tabs Where that copper is actually going to be sitting all right well that was excessive amount this stuff comes out fast it's probably enough for this whole entire thing all right the red one's in next we got white What, Eric? Use whatever you want, I don't care. I'm pretty sure those wires are probably not right. 
so. Trailer lights are working. So I got at least one wire right. So that's good. Okay. Put the four ways on. See if we got anything back there. I see something blinking. All right. Now we just need the brakes. If we got brakes, we got it all right. Just gotta tighten it all down and we're done. Oh, wow. Eric, I need you to check all the lights real quick. Okay, turn that off. Hit the brakes. Let go. Got her. It's all good. Uh oh. My tax man just called me. What? Tax man? Uh oh. He said, give me a call. We need to talk. That's never good, Eric. Oh. That means it's going to be really expensive. Uh oh. <sighs> Genuinely nervous right now. Genuinely nervous. I have money put away, set aside for taxes, budgeted, but usually when he says, give me a call, that's kind of like the doctor saying, we need to talk after your checkup. So, let's see what he says. Hello, this is Tom. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How much bad news do you have for me? Well, I have. Well, I get the good news is your income was pretty high. The bad news is you owe taxes. <laughs> I knew you were going to yeah. say that. <laughs> so there's two sides to the coin. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when when we went through the numbers, your um, your actually your income was up. So um, federal side, there's a our balance due and about Wisconsin. Yeah, right, right. Yep, that's approximately the balance due. But then I got to pay my quarterlies on top of that, huh? Correct. So oh. Yeah. So I was thinking if if you let's say your income is is similar. Yeah. Twenty three. Yeah. Um. So your liability is. A So if you want to pay in to avoid penalties, um, whoa, man, I got to write this down. Oh. You could make victory an S corporation. The benefit there is, well, you'd have to pay yourself a salary, but you're at least not paying payroll taxes on the entire amount of income. All right. Well, it is what it is. Just, is there anything else you need from me or are they done? Just send them over. Yeah, they're done. You should get them this afternoon. I can't spend money on trucks and equipment this year because I need to put it all towards the land. So this year I'm going to get crushed. Sure. I know it. I find a builder and we're going to build property or build put buildings up on that land I bought. If I put a down payment to them by the end of this year, can I write that off for this year? Or is it shovel no. in the ground? No, when... For, for depreciation to start happening, the building has to be considered available for use. So it has, it has to be to finished. Point where it has to be finished, yeah. Man, you got nothing but bad news. I, I got to let you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to be performing some of the, the land clearing, the retention pond, the grading. Can Victory Outdoor yeah. Services bill Victory Style and write that off? Mm -hmm. Oh, so it doesn't, make any, it doesn't make any difference then. Well, it would make a difference, actually, maybe negatively. Man, I'm terrible at trying to find loopholes. Stressed out? Yeah, my taxes are a lot more than oh. I had set, set aside. Yep. He was like, I got good news and bad news. I was like, okay, what's the good news? He's like, 
you made a good income. I was like, okay. And then I said, what's the bad news? He said, you owe a lot of money. <laughs> I was like, no. You want to just uh, put it on the ground? I need a way to get in here. Got it? Please don't drop it on my toe. What if it fell and broke both our toes and me and you are both out? Oh, it just bugs dude. Jade and Tino. No, no, no. And Big Ray. <laughs> Let's just try everything one last time so we know for sure it's goody goody. Right! We're good. We're good. I want to get that barrel off the trailer. I want to put the breaker on, make sure the breaker's working. Huh? What does? Yes. Yeah, we'll use the skid loader. I'm gonna grease the breaker, grease the beak. Get this oil barrel off the trailer. Oh, you're good. I'm totally. <laughs> well, I like to see the grease before I stop, especially in the spring. I want to see it come out. For real, Eric, go in the skids here and get the beat. Without a bucket? It's not going to flip over. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I see you go like this. It's not going to flip over. I get panicked. Just go in there. You're never going to gain confidence unless you try stuff that's oh, hard. Oh, this is too much. You're, you're... Pick it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Come on. It's not going to flip. It's not. It's not going to flip. I'm not doing it for you. I'm not doing it for you. Go get the beak. It won't flip. I'm already sweaty. He actually is nervous. Come on, Eric. Can I put it down? Just go up the ramps. Go. He watches me do this every single day. I'm Come on, Eric. I'm not doing it for you. Go. <laughs> Just push the sticks forward. Backwards, forward. Yes, you can. You're like Autumn with the dogs. Huh? You're like Autumn with the dogs. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know. Go a little bit more and then it'll go like that. Just come a little bit more and then it'll level off. Just come on. No, you're taking it down. Go. You're going to have weight in the front. It's not scary. Eric, you got to start learning, man. You're never going to be able to run your own business if you're scared. If you were like that, you would have had to walk to your customer and say, I can't do your job because I'm too scared. You would have. Come on, get the thing. I'll tell you if you're going off. Come on, go. You're good, just go straight back. Straight back. Can I turn? Just go straight, you're already good. I would quit right away. You're like right at the top of the roller coaster right now. I know. Ready to go. Yeah, that's why. You're gonna go vertical. Just close your eyes and go backwards. Go. Hey, you come with me. No. I'm not doing this every time on the job. You got to learn how to help do certain stuff. If I'm talking to a customer, <laughs> if I'm up there like, you got my money, you should be loading this up. Lose consciousness? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> do what I can't do. It, it feels so bad. <laughs> Just go. I cannot do it. Yes, you can. Go. Now just go straight back. No, straight back. Not forwards. You've watched me do this like at least a thousand times. It's different though. Oh, I can't believe you're actually scared of this. I'm, I'm 100%. You, like you said, I'm about to do all these phones from Cisco, Daryl, even Daryl like bought me. But it is out there. backwards we're not leaving here tonight until you go down the ramp i got all the time in the world <laughs> i'll sit here i got all the time if you run it out of diesel i'll fill it up on the trailer really? yep no 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 hey, please. don't touch the thing Why are you so scared? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, got it. All right, plug that one in now. And then open the claws. I believe it is taking grease. That one took grease. That one took grease. Unfortunately, the grease zerk that's in the front, there's a hole for it, an access hole, but it's not even close to where I can get the grease gun on because I think it got bent at some point. So I think I'm gonna have to pull this cover off real quick. All right, I'm gonna pop this cover off. Unfortunately, it's gotta be done and I don't have an impact, so gotta do it the old fashioned way. 
I want to get grease in there because I know if I don't grease that right there, right now, it's not getting done this year, 100%. Either now or never. You should have brought some headphones so you could listen to music and like got yourself psyched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I can have a computer programmer make a simulator and have the chair, you know, and then have it go to the angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can practice on the yeah. weekends. Yeah. And then, <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yep, and then on Monday you'd be ready. Yeah, yeah especially now, it's probably like $100 more. All right, now we're good. Okay. All right, that's done, that's done. The machine's greased. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna put the beak up, I'm gonna put the breaker up, and then we're gonna back the Mac all the way back. And then it's gonna be like a pain when we back up. That's now? not that's not gonna stay here. We're gonna take the green trailer, put it in the salt shed. The where? The salt shed. We're gonna take that green trailer, put it in the salt shed for the tandem maxil, and then the mesh truck and here? trailer will go right back like we always did yeah. right here. The other yeah, and then this one's gonna go over there. Okay. So we got room for everything. We just can't have the cars in here. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw this stuff on real quick. Golf cart. You guys go park over Dude. there, and then I'll come out and get you every yeah. morning. Uh, you come back right up. I could. That, that is a pretty nice idea. Let's see, let's see the difference. There's gonna be a difference. Oh yes, sir. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna make sure I'm that I. The guy. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I save this little clip. My wife, put the lunch before. I get home, have it 100% ready, so I can just wake up, already changed, it's going to work. Okay, we'll see what happens. Because, yeah, I have to start waking up and stop being lazy. I poopy too much. Yep, just like that, and tighten that one up. We got to fill this, fill the bobcat, fill all the trucks. Oh, there goes another grand. The money just flows right out, Eric. You make a lot of money and then you spend a lot. That's just the way it goes. All right, I think that's all we're gonna do today. We'll get everything cleaned up, wrapped up, locked up. And then uh, tomorrow, we don't have a ton to do tomorrow. We're gonna have a meeting at eight o'clock at the restaurant. Bugs will be there. Tina will be there. Me and you and Ray. And then after the meeting, we'll come over here and then we'll finish cleaning everything up. We'll put the plow away, switch the trucks around. We'll get nails and screws. It's not that exciting, Eric. It is, dude. We're away. We're what, like, what, Monday we start? For? Monday, yep. We'll get nails and screws and bits, tap cons. We'll think through anything else we might need. Make sure we got enough mags and edgers so we're not doing our first pour like, we only got one edger. You know what I mean? Make sure that all the tools are on there that we might need. We're supposed to get the buggy tomorrow. If they got the wheelbarrows, we're gonna take them right away too. If they don't, I'm gonna buy the wheelbarrows from over here. They have them in stock and I'll cancel the order from Pharaoh because I need them, we're starting, you know what I mean? I need the wheelbarrows. That Monday morning was we'll just jumping the trucks and right to the job. Everything's 100%. Oh, yeah. Got everything ready. Man, did a lot of work this winter on the trucks. All the wraps and all the boxes and the bumper and the Mac with the box. That was perfect. Yeah, everything worked out. Good timing. Gonna have the brand new buggy tomorrow. I just got a text. Hey, I just got a text message from Pharaoh. The buggy's there. Where? It's at the Franklin location. Tomorrow we're gonna pick it up or? Yeah, as soon as we're done with breakfast, go get the brand new buggy. Woo! Man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, see you, man. <laughs>